Hello and welcome to the Filmic channel. Filmic Pro V7 is finally here on both iOS and Android, and we are so excited to share it with you. Now, let's dive in and take a look at what's new in Filmic Pro V7, starting with the redesigned interface. When you first launch Filmic Pro V7, the first thing you will notice is the beautiful interface redesign and it has been fully optimized for both landscape and portrait orientations. So unlike V6, there is now complete feature parity between landscape and portrait. Our signature focus and exposure reticles are still front and center, but now use a beautiful and rather fitting tangerine color when unlocked and have improved lock and unlock animations to make the reticle state even clearer. V7 also better utilizes the negative space on wide aspect devices which is now home to familiar elements like the imaging button, audio meter, and record button, as well as two brand new elements, the mode and audio buttons. If I tap the mode button, it will present the new mode cam, and cam is short for quick action modal. This is a brand new signature element available throughout V7 that sits at the bottom front and center of the interface giving you quick access to core functionality without requiring you to die through settings looking for it. The mode cam allows you to quickly switch between three discrete focus and exposure modes without relying on hidden gestures, which are still there by the way for mixed reticle states. To dismiss a cam, just tap outside it to close. The audio button will reveal the audio cam, which allows you to set your microphone input, adjust the gain via the input gain slider, and offers the ability to enable and disable automatic gain correction. You will notice that V7 by default uses a simplified audio meter. It still has an integrated gain slider so you can adjust your audio input gain directly on the meter itself, but if you tap on the VU meter you can now switch between simple and pro audio meter presentations. Now let's have a look at the main viewport. In the lower left is the all new lens picker cam which allows you to quickly switch lenses via the slider or dedicated buttons. It also includes a beautiful field of view indicator and lens descriptor readouts. Next to it is the remote cam, which allows you to quickly enable support for either remote control or just send a clean feed to a second device running our companion app Filmic Remote for monitoring purposes. The medallion has also been streamlined in V7 and when tapped, offers brand new RGB histogram and waveform visualizations. In the lower right is the brand new live analytics cam, which will help you attain perfect focus and exposure through our signature assist visualizations that are applied in the preview only. Zebras have been updated to offer a lovely animated visualization. False color is now more advanced and uses the same scale as high-end cinema cameras and the focus peaking analytic has been fine-tuned for an even better experience. The settings menu has been relocated to the upper left of the viewport, with some sub-menus being consolidated for a better experience. For example, the video menu is now home to both encoding and frame rate settings. You can tap anywhere outside of settings to close. And brand new to V7, in the upper right of the viewport is the custom function button. Every filmmaker's needs are unique and this feature allows you to assign a custom function of your choosing for lightning fast access right in the main UI. After a clean install of Filmic Pro, just tap once to assign either one of the nine top level presets or for a full list of all available functions, tap the plus button in the upper left. Here, related functions are grouped for convenience and each includes a description. You have dozens to choose from. My personal favorite is Play Last Clip, which when pressed will automatically play back your last recorded clip full screen. Great for ensuring you got the shot. If you want to map a new function to the custom function button, just long press to reveal the picker again. You can expect the supported custom functions to continue to expand as V7 evolves. One of the most popular requests we've received from filmmakers is the ability to monitor key values while recording, like ISO, shutter speed, 
white balance, and more. As a result, Filmic Pro V7 adds the action slider, which can be revealed by tapping the chevron in the top center of the interface. This provides a real-time readout of your ISO, shutter speed, white balance, available record time remaining in minutes based on your current shooting configuration, your current capture format, and lastly, your selected gamma curve. As your scene changes, these values will update in real time, ensuring you know exactly where things stand. Lock states are also indicated here. If I tap to lock the exposure reticle, these values are clearly displayed as being locked in the action slider. And the same goes for white balance. If I lock that under the imaging panel, this is reflected in the action slider too. But the action slider isn't just a static readout, it also offers access to an incredibly powerful suite of new quick action models. Tapping ISO will reveal the ISO cam, which supports three input methods. You can use the slider at the top, tap on one of the eight ISO presets with the base ISO supported by your lens in first position, and by popular demand, Filmic Pro V7 now supports numerical keyboard input. Simply tap either ISO value readout to type in your desired ISO. This makes it easy to jump to the exact value you need. Just tap the tick to accept. Tapping the shutter speed value will open the shutter cam. What is really nice about this cam is that you get both your shutter speed readout and the equivalent shutter angle. Just like with the ISO cam, you can use the slider to make adjustments or choose from one of the four presets, which includes a 180 degree shutter for cinematic motion blur. And of course, you can tap the shutter angle indicator to input your desired angle via keyboard or tap the shutter speed readout to input your desired shutter speed numerically via the keyboard. Tapping the white balance element in the action slider will reveal the stunning new white balance cam. On the left, you have a matrix coordinate visualization that will respond dynamically to temperature adjustments made with the temperature Kelvin slider and the tint slider beneath it. Running along the bottom are four predefined presets, two custom user presets, and of course the AWB button that lets you cycle between auto white balance in blue locked white balance in red, and auto lock record in orange. And just like the ISO and shutter cams, the white balance cam supports numerical input too. Just tap the Kelvin value or the tint value to type in your desired setting. Minutes remaining and capture format do not have a dedicated cam, but tapping either will take you directly into your video settings, which can of course be used to extend or shorten available record time based on your chosen resolution, bitrate, and capture format. Lastly, tapping the gamma curve element in the action slider will reveal the curve cam, which quickly lets you choose your gamma curve. If you don't need a constant readout of these key values, just tap the chevron again to hide the action slider. And lastly, one of the key improvements in V7 is around manual controls, with brand new manual sliders replacing the arcs from V6, offering a more responsive user experience and greater fine grain control over manual exposure. If I tap the mode button and select manual mode from the quick action modal, it will reveal the new manual controls. On the left hand side, we have a manual slider that offers control over four discrete values. The first is LV, and this should be familiar to all filmmakers who have used the prior version of Filmic Pro. Here, shutter speed and ISO are adjusted concurrently, making it ideal for quick adjustments. We provide a real-time readout of your current ISO and shutter speed next to the slider. To the left of the slider, we can swipe to switch to ISO control. This will control ISO only, with the ISO value displayed to the right of the slider. Next we have S, which stands for shutter speed. And this allows you to input your desired shutter speed without it affecting your ISO value. And lastly, we have Z or Z, which allows you to control your digital zoom using the slider. On the right hand side of the viewport is the dedicated manual focus slider that makes focus adjustment a breeze. 
On both the zoom and focus sliders, you will also notice our new very bright and bold pull points, which allow you to automate focus pulls and zoom moves. To automate a focus pull, start by setting your first focus point. Then tap the center yellow position marker, which will snap the closest pull point into position. Next, set your second focus point and tap the center yellow marker again to snap your second pull point into position. Now tap either cyan or magenta pull points to automate the focus pull. We hope you enjoyed this first look at what's new in Filmic Pro V7. V7.0 lays the foundation for an incredibly exciting future roadmap of new features that will be added regularly to the app. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel to be notified as they're released, along with other exciting announcements. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Oh,